ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video for the last day of June, June 30th, and the weather quiet and very comfortable across Alabama today. Pretty odd to say comfortable in the last day of June in the same sentence. Let's go to some sky cam shots this afternoon. First off from the Coleman camera. Got a, a broken field of cumulus clouds, and really that is the result of cold air aloft in association with an upper trough overhead. The uh, surface temperatures are very comfortable. In fact, the uh, observation up there showing 79 degrees at 2 o'clock. That's not bad, and the dew points are down in the 50s. Uh, down the road a bit in Jasper, the uh, sky more uh, clear there, just a few scattered cumulus clouds. And about the same on the eastern side of the state. Always a beautiful scene there from Mount Sheha, Alabama's highest mountain. Looking off to the uh, south. There's our big trough over the east. That certainly does not look like summertime right there. That looks more like spring or winter. Uh, temperatures are, again, very comfortable with the trough. We've got readings in the 60s and 70s around the Great Lakes. And, again, even uh, down into Tennessee and extreme northeast Alabama, some spots are in the 70s with 80s elsewhere. No serious heat problems here, that's for sure. Hottest weather in the nation way out west where we see some triple digits over inland parts of Washington State. Expected rain around the country. Boy, nothing if this is right. This is valid through Saturday morning, and this is suggesting not a drop of rain for the northern two-thirds of Alabama. And that might be right. Uh, again, I think we'd better mention at least the chance of an afternoon shower by Friday, but uh, more than likely the better opportunity for showers will come uh, after Friday into uh, the weekend ahead. And quickly, a peek at tropical weather, obviously with a big whopper of a trough over the eastern part of North America. No uh, serious tropical issues expected around here. We note that tropical wave approaching the windward islands, but no sign of any serious organization, uh, organization at this time. We'll go through modeling. This is the 12Z GFS valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon at 500 millibars. Trough over the east is the big story, and down below that, very dry air. Almost all of Alabama, including the Gulf Coast, should be sunny with low humidity and a cool morning. I think we start in the upper 50s early tomorrow. Wednesday, same deal. Beautiful weather here. Dry air means a sunny day. Thursday, we note that little green patch. There could be an isolated shower somewhere, but most areas Thursday will stay dry. And a front up north uh, lined up there from near Detroit down to Omaha, Nebraska will watch that. Friday, the front gets closer, but it's still fairly far north of us, and you can see moisture levels are increasing, and I think there's no doubt you have to mention at least the chance of a shower or storm in a few spots on Friday afternoon, but it looks like rain will not be a major problem for the 4th of July partiers. And on Saturday, starting off the weekend, still evidence of the trough over the east. It's not as sharp as, as it is now, so the front's going to stall out north of here. And that looks fairly soupy and moist. So uh, Saturday uh, looks like a day with uh, scattered, maybe numerous showers and storms. Sunday, no change. Very moist air mass. So Saturday and Sunday, a chance of showers and storms. And Monday, the moisture goes nowhere. That's a week from today. Let's dig deeper into July. This is July the 12th. Big ridge engulfing much of the United States. Down below that, we note the GFS has lost the tropical system it showed on the run we showed you this morning. It's gone. Some little feature out there in the Atlantic. And then on the 16th, uh, still uh, still somewhat of a semblance of a trough over the east and the higher heights out west. And down below that, that looks fairly routine. And certainly with maps like that, no sign of any excessively hot weather. And that's good news for, news for most of us that live down here because we all know how hot it can be in July in Alabama. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.